So, travel and the environment, vitally important to all of us these days. In recent weeks, we actually, as a company, became 100% carbon neutral. We are very, very genuine in what we mean when we look to protect the planet that we live and travel in. Here at Aurora Expeditions, we truly care for the areas that we visit, the people we meet, and the wildlife that we get to see. So we started operating right here in Australia 30 years ago this year, and our focus, our central part of our DNA, is the expedition itself. We take you further, we allow you to see more, all in small ship and small group comfort. So what makes Aurora different? Well, there's a lot of things really. I think the, uh, the spirit on board is very, very unique. As a small Australian company, we, we do it rather differently to others, which is kind of important. And I don't know how you can really put that in words. The fact that we go in small groups, the, the fact that we really immerse you in the activities rich program that we offer makes us really quite different. It's probably one of the things that you can't necessarily just read by flicking through a brochure. But I'm really glad we have this chance to chat today because it allows us to show you more and we'll be speaking to one of our very, very special friends. He's just coming up shortly. But being able to spend longer on our kayak kayaking program, being able to go diving in Antarctica or the polar regions, you know, these are very, very unique and special options that we offer. Having the largest expedition team or the more expedition staff per person than you'll find on any other, any other ship. These are the facts that make us really quite significantly different and make sure that the experience that you have is that much better. For me, one of the greatest things is um, good traveling with Aussies. They're always good fun anyway. Um, but I think the spirit of Greg Mortimer himself lives within the ships. Uh, the, the expedition team love to spend time with their guests. The, everyone just seems to get on so much better and everyone gets very involved. And that really is quite unique to us. Polar regions are our speciality. But what we do in places like my home country of Scotland, really quite unique. The thing I really love about it is we go to places that even as a Scotsman I've never been to. That's how ingenious our itineraries are. Going up through Iceland, through Norway, spending time going around Ireland, getting across into the Northwest Passage, the Russian Far East, wow, mind-blowing. And then all the way down through the Kuril Islands and down to Raja Ampat. There is something for absolutely everyone. It's not actually just what you see. It's what you learn from our experts, our guides, our historians, our volcanologists, geologists, every kind of ologist. What you learn on the way there and back, that really separates us. That's what makes it a true, true expedition. My trip to Antarctica, one of the best things ever, was the fact that I came back with a PhD in Antarctica studies. Because the lectures, you couldn't possibly sleep through them. They are so illuminating, they are so inspiring. It really is very, very special. Our two new ships, the Greg Mortimer and the Sylvia Earl, are wonderful examples of how technology can really help us as we stride towards better environmental standards. Travelling to the unique destinations that we do, we want to make sure we have the minimum impact and these two beautiful vessels allow us to do just that. When we introduced the Greg Mortimer a couple of years ago now, she was the first of her kind. The ship has what's called an X-bow, and I'll explain that better to you in this image. The X-bow essentially cuts through waves, that's really what it's all about. The benefit to our guests is very obvious. The benefit is that the ship doesn't move around terribly much. It's very much more controlled than you would have found in a lot of other previous ships. It's been referred to as like a hot knife through butter. It's a very comfortable ride and it's interesting that some of our expedition team, some of them with 17 years or more experience with us, can tell you it's the most comfortable ride they've ever had going across the Drake Passage, notably one of the potentially roughest areas of sea in the world. This ship does it exceptionally well. We named our second ship the Sylvia Earl, named after the brilliant Dr. Sylvia Earl, one of the world's great oceanographers. The naming of the ship Sylvia Earl was really to highlight our focus on trying to protect the marine environments for future travel and for future generations. It's been great being out here in the great outdoors. 
time to go back to the office for me. Hopefully we can go on a wonderful Aurora expedition before too terribly wrong. See you there.